G'day. Today I'm going to be servicing the automatic transmission and this 1999 Subaru WRX. So if you'd like to learn how to do that yourself, uh, feel free to follow along and uh, we're going to have a good time. Cheers. So the first order of business will be to drain the transmission fluid. Now these transmissions hold a lot of transmission fluid, around about no, six or seven litres is going to come out. So make sure you have enough containers ready. Because your normal drain pan for the engine is probably not going to be big enough. So next up is to undo the bolts that hold the pan on. They're 10 millimeter head M6 bolts. So now we should be able to drop the pan off. Just give it a tap. Very careful you don't plunge this inside and damage anything. The valve body or the wiring harness or anything like that. There we go. There we go. So now we need to take the pickup screen off. So let's go. Up screen just comes off. So I'm going to let that drip now. Then have lunch and then I'll come back. So now it's time to put the new inlet screen on. No, no sealant goes on this flange. So I'm going to start with one of the one of the long bolts, just to hold it up in there.
that. And then just add more bolts as we go around. You'll be able to see if the length is right by how far they go in. You see if you've got a mile sticking out, then it's the wrong bolt. All right, that looks pretty good. So now I'm just gonna tighten them down till they touch. Okay, now I'm just gonna uh, torque them up a bit by hand. I'm going to go too tight. Let's start here. I need M6 bolts, so don't break them off. That's it. That's on. So now just need to finish cleaning the flange for the pan. Then the main pan can go on. So for that I'm going to just use a bit of wax and grease remover. On the, the mounting face. Just to clean any oil oil off the flange like that. time for the pan uh, make sure you tighten the sump plug back up and clean it all out and everything and you can bang it back on get your bolts and everything ready handy We go. All that's left to do under the car now is to change the spin on oil filter. Get the new filter and put it on. So now it's time to fill up the transmission fluid. So you can start by just putting your funnel in the dipstick tube of the transmission. And initially you can add quite a bit of fluid just keep adding it until you can see it on the dipstick to the um, to the low mark which usually takes about five or six liters then you want to start the engine and as the engines running uh, top it up to the normal level and then keep changing it through the gears and everything so it pumps it through the whole gearbox
got that all set. Go down. 